dy over dx. You learn the calculus. Um, if you didn't see the um, earlier version of the video about the calculus, please watch the video first. Now, often you learn this, but do you know what this means? Is this a division? Like dy divided by dx? Is it? What is dx? How about dy? Do you know what they are? See, this is the um, confusing part of calculus. Um, many students actually um, get confused about what they are. Okay. In the previous video in the calculus, we define derivative function is limit um, f x plus infinitesimally uh, larger than this x plus means x plus is larger than x but it's infinitesimally larger we learn this way sorry this negative and this one we often write delta x so it's going to be delta x goes to zero we take a limit of delta x x plus delta x minus fx okay calculating this we call differentiation right and this function we call derivative function now differentiation it's too many writing every time so we write this way x fx okay this is a symbol for differentiation when you calculate uh, derivative function of fx we write this way so this is going to be derivative function okay now we also write d f x and d x or d y d x so your math textbook doesn't explain what this is actually i give you answer first this is same as dy divided by dx hmm it's a division division of something what dy dx is your math textbook doesn't give you this definition i believe so i tell you what it is if you understand this then later when you learn multivariable differentiation you understand much quicker I tell you the reason if you got confused about this then you get confused by calculus forever okay for example y equals x2 so function is like like this now we take a derivative then it's 2x derivative function is 2x which is like that so this is gonna be 4 1 and 0 so this is derivative function this is original function right okay then when we say dy dx 
equals f prime x that means take x here okay this x and this original function you get the slope function the slope line this slope line we define new coordinate at this contacting point which we use dx dy okay so we have a linear function on this new coordinate this is a new coordinate just created at the point x this is the point x okay this new coordinate we have a linear function that line going through the origin of a coordinate so dy equals dx so if dx is 3 at x equals 1 what's happened at 1 f prime 1 equals 2 so 2 times 3 is 6 dy is 6 is that very clear um, so dx dy is nothing but new coordinate created at the point x why this is important it's important to understand this because for example when you have z equals f x y okay multivariable um, dz over dt uh, d uh, no dz is going to be um, f x y partial derivative time dx plus partial derivative x y and dy so what is this exactly the same meaning what we do is we take let's see x y z we have some kind of 3d plane and we select x and y this spot boom now we define the plane here okay and this plane go through this new coordinate which is dx dy and dz okay so this new coordinate uh, has a plane that going through the origin so this plane's equation will be this okay so it's it's like uh, if the plane is going through the origin uh, let's take another example let's say 1 2 2 x y z oh this one doesn't go through origin so forget about this um, plane that go through the origin okay how do you what is the equation for this say dz dx dy is given by this and coefficient of dx is given by partial derivatives and coefficient of dy is given by this partial derivatives that's what it means okay so some student thinks oh dx is very small zero no this is wrong okay delta x goes zero doesn't mean that is 
dx. No, this is completely wrong. dx is just a new coordinate. Okay, so the new coordinate you have a plane, linear plane, that goes through the origin, right? Which is touching this original function z equals f x y. Okay, so this uh, equation d x d y and d z, the linear plane equation, is a derivative function of z equals f x y so now it's very clear what dx what dy what is dz now don't ask me what partial derivative x well partial derivative x is actually symbol I think we are out of the bound. Okay. Partial derivative x is actually the symbol of differentiation. And differentiation by the rule that we consider y is a constant and take a derivative of x. That's the symbol. Okay. There's no partial derivative x independent variable. So very clear, dx, and this not it's you you read dx, it's okay, but it's partial dx. Um, so this this is not a very tiny quantity; it's just the new coordinate. Okay. Now we have a more interesting subject. Uh, it's so integration. It's uh, about infinity. There are a lot of fallacies about in, uh, infinity uh, operation for the integral. Uh, please look at that video. It's very interesting.